on his passes. The Purdue transfer really in his second year as a starter here. And in 15 of 17 against BYU in week one, and even though he didn't throw a touchdown pass, he also didn't turn it over. And a high completion percentage. Directing traffic here, and he escapes a pocket and takes off to midfield. Etling slides in. As the defense adjusts. And Canada, the far right of that picture with the highlighter. Came in after a great season at Pitt. Play action. Etling looking deep. End zone shot. Touchdown, LSU and Drake Davis. Shifts, motion, play fake, sliding hand, and then Etling going over the top. That's what this offense will look like when it does an LSU tie. And Tom, this is beautiful by Canada. It's an orbit, arc release motion, selling a reverse, and you're also going to see run action with the guard pulling. That's going to suck up the eyes of the linebacker, but more importantly, this safety right here is going to bite up with his eyes and leaving for nobody on the back end and a wide open, easy pitch and catch. Drake Davis, a guy they're really excited about, wanting him to get going, be more consistent. Great start for him and Danny Etling and this Matt Canada. Eight pressure there from the linebacker in the secondary with White and Battle. So a turnover on downs, and Etling looking deep. He's throwing into coverage, and it's still caught. What a play on the ball by Stefan Sullivan. It's an LSU first. Out of the tight end spot. In motion for Jacoby Stevens. Play action again. Etling wants a deep one. Crossing route. There's the freshman Stevens. His Canada having answers. Well, they've hit a couple big ones deep over the top of the safety's heads. Not this time. So you run a guy right underneath Jacoby Stevens. Guy they're hoping to be a big role in this offense. Big physical receiver. Jumped over from safety. Did that with a big game against Missouri last year for a buck 30. Etling. He's going to uncork another deep down the sideline. Caught for another LSU first down, and it's DJ Chark. The senior from Alexandria, Louisiana, repping the 3-1-8, and he takes it for 46. What an unbelievable throw here by Entley. Look at the eye control. And this right here is a dime. DJ Chark, the third leading receiver, second leading receiver last year. Most experienced guy they got coming back. Boy. That's like a long handoff. Second down, 10. Etling pulls it back and will run. You're into quarterback now. Pull down field tonight. It's a different guy. On third and eight. Checking and chased. And Etling will throw it away. And that can't. Well, how he liked to watch film. And it's not just what are you seeing, but what is he really looking for? And so I was able to really diagnose and speak his language. Etling taken down after play action as they looked in 21. Etling, strong pocket presence, high and through the hands of DJ Chark. With Geis blocking, he floats it to the outside, complete to... Etling, incomplete. Morrow in motion. Blitz coming. Etling evades it, goes over the middle, too much for Chuck. But it's senior. Back to play again for this LSU team. Etling looking down the sideline. He's going to lob it on a wheel route to Geis. You never saw it. Out at Arizona State. Six picks was an ASU freshman record. Here comes pressure on Etling. He gets it away into the hands of DJ Chuck. Born without any hands. Third and three now. Etling play action. Couple of crossing routes, nothing doing, and Etling will. And now fourth and three for Danny Etling in LSU. And a swing out to Gage, who would come in motion a moment ago, and he works his way through. Offense, so the offense that LSU runs, but also his growth as a coach, he can point to a lot of different things. He was running tempo at Indiana with Ben Chapel running out of the pit. Is the best compliment to obviously what a talent he is on the field. He considers himself, and he's gotten a lot of help throughout his life. And just a junior in college right now, Etling wants to go deep again. And over the top of the coverage, Chark got it. Wow, what a grab. There are three dark jerseys there, and it goes for 48 over the top of Kareem Moore. It's a second gain of 
Better than 45 yards for DJ Chark. And back to another play action. Actually, Tom, he should have let this ball go a little earlier. He had him by a step, but what a great play by DJ Chark, who has flashed all over the field. Punt returns, had a big play earlier down the right sideline. And going up to get that ball as well.